Praise the Lord, people of God. I'm so glad to be here with you today to talk to you about your breakthrough and about the breakthrough that God has in store for you about a breakthrough, hallelujah, that you need, that you want, and that God desires for you to have. I praise God this morning because God is so good. His mercy is so everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. I thank God. Because God is great and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. I really do praise God because he's so wonderful. He's so good. He's so kind and he's so merciful. Hallelujah. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit. Let's pray and let the Holy Spirit have its way in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, we pray to you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving you glory, honor, praise, worshiping and adoring you, putting no one before you, lifting you up in every good way. Hallelujah. In every powerful and spiritual way that you have provided for us by your Holy Spirit that makes intercession with groanings that cannot be uttered. Hallelujah. We want to thank you for being God and besides you there is no other. Thank you for being the Father and Creator of all things. Hallelujah. And the great planner. Thank you Jesus Christ. Hallelujah for being the Redeemer. The Sufferer. The Great Sufferer. Hallelujah. And Redeemer. Thank you for being the Savior, hallelujah, and our salvation, hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you for being everything. Thank you for your blood of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, that covers us and protects us, hallelujah. Oh, thank God and does more than that, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are our comforter. You, you lead and guide us into all truth, and we thank you that you're the comforter. Praise your holy name. We give you honor. We give you glory. And we give you praise God in your fullness. Hallelujah. In the fullness of the Godhead bodily. We give you praise for everything that you are. Everything that you do. Everything you're going to perform. We just give you praise, glory, and honor right now. Father, we worship and adore you again and again and again hallelujah we lift our hands to you to say you're god and beside you there is no other father we pray to you today hallelujah that you bless us oh god as we talk about the breakthrough oh god that we give the words hallelujah to your people hallelujah that you have given to us you're so good, you're so merciful, you're so kind, you're so awesome, and we praise your holy name right now. Hallelujah. Lord, bless your word. Bless us by your word, with your word, and through your word right now. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we praise your holy name, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I'm looking at Revelation 8, and it reads on this wise, And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar 
and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. That was Revelation 8, 1 through 5. Praise God. And I'd love to talk to you today about all of Revelation and everything, hallelujah, that this particular chapter means. Glory be to God. But we're not going to expound so much right now because we have another message about Revelation at another time. Hallelujah, glory to God. We're going to talk, hallelujah, today about, hallelujah, your breakthrough, hallelujah. Hallelujah, how to get that breakthrough and what leads up to that breakthrough, glory be to God. Because God guarantees the breakthrough. We thank God because he said many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord our God shall deliver us out of them all. And we know, hallelujah, if we suffer with him, we shall reign with him. And at the appointed time to reign, it is your breakthrough. The appointed time to reign is your breakthrough. Hallelujah. But you've got to get to the place of your breakthrough. You have named your breakthrough. You have claimed your breakthrough, which I guarantee you, you'll have to do again and again and again because it is an act of your faith to no matter what it looks like and what your situation is at the time, you will again and again, <laughs> and again and again, have to name and claim your breakthrough. You will have to on many occasion, hallelujah, show forth that you not only believe, but receive and are willing to speak out of your mouth those things that are not as though they were. And one day, because of your faith and your work, hallelujah, that breakthrough will be realized in your life. It is already realized, hallelujah, in the spirit realm, hallelujah, and all in heaven. Because those things, the will of God, hallelujah, is already done. As it is in heaven, it's done in earth, hallelujah. But it's already done in heaven. Hallelujah. And when you pray, you're asking God, hallelujah, let it be done in heaven so it can be done on earth. Glory be to God. And hallelujah. Glory be to God. You will get your breakthrough. Let us start talking about how to get your breakthrough. The first thing, hallelujah, that you must do and that so many fail to do. And so many of us catch ourselves and find that we didn't do. And then we come to the place of realization that we have to humble ourselves all the way down. This is the first thing, humble yourselves, hallelujah. Sometimes you find that you need to humble yourself while you're in prayer, sometimes you find that you have to humble yourself before you go down to pray, hallelujah. The Spirit of God, hallelujah, will lay it on your heart. But whenever you realize, hallelujah, it's all right, hallelujah, as long as you come to the realization, hallelujah, that in order to get your breakthrough, hallelujah, one of the major steps and first steps, hallelujah, is that you must humble yourself. And I don't mean that look on your face, the pious look that makes the sinner think or the hypocrite think and be fooled, hallelujah, to think that you are humble or a long dress, hallelujah, holding your head down to the ground to say that you, hallelujah, are humble, hallelujah. No, hallelujah, because many of God's people 
have to set our faces like a flint every day, hallelujah. Going into battle, hallelujah. Yet we realize that we're nobody and nothing, hallelujah. And filthy rags before the great throne of God, hallelujah. But our hearts, hallelujah, and our minds, hallelujah, and our spirits, hallelujah, and our souls, hallelujah, are humble before God. We know, hallelujah, in our hearts of flesh, hallelujah, that we, hallelujah, are humble down, hallelujah, under the right hand of God. And he lifts us up in the spirit and gives us great spiritual gifts. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we humble ourselves all the way down to the ground. Hallelujah. Because he made us out of dust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah out of that dirt. Hallelujah. So kneeling down is a must as the song says. Hallelujah. The blessed song that God gave me. Y'all don't mind if I plug it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Humbling ourselves down to the ground because he made us out of dust. So kneeling down is a must. And he loves us and we trust. And because we know he loves us and we trust him, hallelujah. We forget about ourselves, hallelujah. We concentrate on him and worship him and we humble ourselves and say, we can't do it. We know, God, that you will do it. You're the one that's going to do it. You're the one I need to do it. You're the one I want to do it. You're the one I trust to do it. Glory be to God. And so we humble ourselves down, which is the first step. Hallelujah. Get yourself humble. The problem in the church today is we're too big and we're too high and see we're not getting the breakthroughs because we're too great and we're too mighty, hallelujah. Taking God's place, standing in his place, building altars, hallelujah. Beautifying everything that's on us, around us, and that we can see with the natural eye, hallelujah. And we're not beautifying, hallelujah, the feet of our God. Hallelujah, washing his feet with our tears. Hallelujah, humbling ourselves down and doing the will of the Most High God and not our own will. Looking for praise from man instead of praise from God. Hallelujah, praising ourselves instead of letting our work praise us and let another one praise you. Hallelujah. If you would do good, hallelujah, another one would praise you. If you humble yourself down, hallelujah, men would see your good works because your light is shining. When you humble yourself, your light immediately shines, hallelujah. And men see the good work of your humbleness, hallelujah. And men see the good work of what you're doing for God in a humble manner, hallelujah. And your light so shines, hallelujah. And men see your good work and they begin to glorify your Father in heaven. But uh-oh, the problem is that you want the glory. You want to be glorified. You want to be noticed. You want to be recognized for your talent and for your gifts and for your ministry. And it's not about you, hallelujah, but it's all about God. And if you want your breakthrough, I don't care how high your title is. I guarantee you, you're not getting it if you don't humble yourself. It's not how about, hallelujah, how much money God gives you, how much money you get from somebody, how much prestige and honor you get from man. It's what God thinks about you, hallelujah. Humble yourself down, hallelujah, so you can get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. And once you humble yourself down, you can really pray. You can pray in faith, hallelujah. You can pray nothing wavering, hallelujah. You can really believe and receive. Why? Because, hallelujah, you're not praying amiss. You're not coming to God to ask him for something to make you look good. You're not doing it before your appointed time, hallelujah. I don't care if you waited 20 years. Listen, I'm the witness. I don't care, hallelujah. God saved me when I was six years old, hallelujah. And many things I waited for for 20 years, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah, like Abraham and Sarah, hallelujah. I sit and I wait, hallelujah. This is the sign of a prophet, hallelujah. The patience of waiting on God, hallelujah. Waiting to sing, waiting to speak, waiting to prophesy in God's time and not our own, hallelujah. But many of you, hallelujah, have gone before God. That's how we can tell you haven't been in prayer, hallelujah. You're looking all silly out there, hallelujah. Not because, glory be to God, hallelujah, you can't do things to the capacity that other people do them. That means nothing, hallelujah, because the capacity of man, hallelujah, the recognition of man that says this is the standard how it shall be done has no power in it, hallelujah. It may sound good, it may look good, hallelujah, but that doesn't mean it has power, hallelujah, and there's no breakthrough coming out of it for the person or those, hallelujah, that hear it or see it, oh God, because it has no power. It has not, hallelujah, been wrought, hallelujah, through sufferings and through fire, hallelujah. It has not been, hallelujah, wrought, hallelujah, through prayer and fasting, hallelujah. It has not been wrought, hallelujah, through waiting on the Lord and being of good courage and strengthening hearts, hallelujah, because it may, hallelujah, not seem like the standard, hallelujah, hallelujah, of man, hallelujah, but if it has the power of God, hallelujah, if it has the righteousness of God, hallelujah, if it has the seal of God, hallelujah, the fire of God, hallelujah, a breakthrough is guaranteed because it's covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, verse 4 says, and the smoke of the incense, don't you see the smoke comes on you, the good smell, hallelujah, which came with the prayers of of the saints. It didn't say from, it says which came with the prayers of the saints, the humble, honest, genuine, godly, holy, righteous, real, down to the dust, prayers of the saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it ascended up before God out of the angel's hands. You see, it's got to go up, hallelujah, before it comes down. I love when they sing, hallelujah, when the praises go up, the blessings come down, hallelujah. These praises are in worship and they are in prayer, hallelujah. But it ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And here we go, I love it. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar. You've got to get on the altar. You got to get on the altar. You can be on the wall and that's good. Get on the wall, hallelujah, hallelujah, slobber and call on God. But when you are on the altar, it is guaranteed that you are kneeling and you're going down. You are humbling yourself to get, hallelujah, in contact with the master. The Holy Spirit will see it, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will hover over you. Uh, the Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit, glory be to God, hallelujah, will carry it to the Father, straight to the throne of the Father, hallelujah, with groanings that cannot be uttered. He will deliver the message perfectly and right to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will take it, hallelujah, remind the Father of the blood, put the blood all over it, hand it on over to the Father, and the Father has no other choice because he promised and he cannot lie, he will say yes. and filled it with fire, fire from trials, hallelujah, fire from cleansing, hallelujah, fire that makes us go, hallelujah, fire that makes us strong and gives us strength because we waited so long on the Lord and now we have a good courage, hallelujah, and we can be like Joshua, we can only be thou strong and then we're very courageous, hallelujah, and he cast it into the earth and there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. Let me tell you something. God told me to use this chapter and this scripture 
to bring out a whole different meaning telling you that your breakthrough is coming, hallelujah. And not only is it coming, hallelujah, if you just count to three, one, two, three, hallelujah, your breakthrough is here, one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. Your breakthrough is right here, right now, glory be to God. And God has come right now with thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake, and whatever he has to do to give you your breakthrough. Because he hears you cry out, hallelujah, in prayer, asking him, Lord, what about the breakthrough? Lord, what about the breakthrough? I thank God when he gave me those words, hallelujah, you know, I thought about it and say, can I say, what about the breakthrough? And God said, yes, because hallelujah, in private and in secret, laying down on the floor, laying back, hallelujah, or sitting on the couch or in the kitchen, in the bathroom, or wherever, hallelujah, trials have taken control of my people, glory be to God. And they're suffering so much and they need an emergency, hallelujah, help out of their situation, hallelujah. They don't take the time to go, oh, most heavenly Father. No, they don't, glory be to God. They call out to me and say, where are you? What about the breakthrough, Lord? You promised me a breakthrough. I need a breakthrough. I want a breakthrough. Come on, what about the breakthrough? Give me my breakthrough. Hallelujah. We can't come to God all phony. Hallelujah. When my children cry out, God say, I need a breakthrough. When my children cry out, Lord, time is running out. Tick tock, tick tock. Lord, where are you? When nobody's looking and they're not trying to impress anyone and not trying to seem strong when they're feeling weak, hallelujah. <laughs> and not trying to, hallelujah, look big when they know they're going through a time of being small, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. And not trying to put on airs, hallelujah. And not trying to let people think that you're so great, hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know you calling out to God saying, what's going on? What happened? And when we come to him honestly with a pure heart, hallelujah, heard the songwriter and singer say, when you cry out to God in agony, it's not in vain. Hallelujah, he will ease the pain. Hallelujah, is that all right? Glory be to God, hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with saying to God, what about the breakthrough? You promised me a breakthrough, hallelujah. And if you want a breakthrough, hallelujah, you have also got to, hallelujah, remember others, hallelujah. When you pray, you got to not just pray for yourself. Now this is a big one, cause the church is selfish today, hallelujah. Racking up stuff for yourself, begging stuff for yourself, never remembering anyone else, hallelujah. You forgot what pure religion is, hallelujah. You got the Holy Ghost, but you, hallelujah, got to do all the parts, hallelujah. You got to visit the sick and lay hands, hallelujah. You got to visit the prisons, try to get them out, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God and get them rehabilitated. You got to help the homeless, hallelujah. You got to give, hallelujah, your little money, hallelujah, to help somebody in need, hallelujah. You got to give your time, hallelujah, to help the widow and the fatherless, hallelujah. You've got to do these things. And when you go down to pray, you got to pray for someone else and you've got to forgive, hallelujah. You've got to pray that God would save the sinner, hallelujah, that God would help his people, hallelujah, that God would deliver this one and that one and that one and call them by name, hallelujah. You got to pray for the world and the leaders, hallelujah. 
You got to remember to do these things in prayer. You got to humble yourself and stop being angry. Hallelujah. When you're down praying to God, you hallelujah can be angry. Hallelujah. But once you get hallelujah to your spirit being humble, hallelujah, you forget all of that. Hallelujah. And then you'll forgive. Hallelujah. And you remember the scripture when the scripture gets into you, it heals you. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he sent his word and it healed them. Hallelujah. It has healed us. Hallelujah. From anger. Hallelujah. When you go down to pray. Hallelujah. The word. Hallelujah. Will get you. When you go to read the word. It'll get you. The word will snatch you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. You better ask the Holy Ghost to arrest you. Hallelujah. I ask the Holy Ghost, arrest me. Ah, grab me up and get me. Hallelujah. Take control of me. Hallelujah. No more I, but Christ that lives in me. Hallelujah. You got to pray for all the world. Hallelujah. Then you got to remind God that you're doing his will and you're trying to do what he told you to do. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You sent me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The songstress and songwriter. Hallelujah. Said I've been doing what you asked me to do. I've been doing what you told me to do. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now I'm asking. Please. I'm asking. Bless me. Hallelujah. I need my breakthrough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's all right in here. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. And I feel his spirit. Hallelujah. All around me. And I thank him. Hallelujah. For hovering. Hallelujah. For leading and guiding me into all truth. I thank him for the Holy Spirit. It's all in my feet. Hallelujah. And in my hands, in my mouth, my ears, my eyes, my nose, all over my body. Hallelujah. My spirit, my soul, in my mind. Hallelujah. He's in my heart. Hallelujah. This melody of love divine. It's in my heart because I'm his and he is mine. And this is why I love to sing. I love to jump. I love to shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's in my heart. It's in my heart. You need it in your heart, children. You need it in your heart, overseer. You need it in your heart, prophet, apostle, pastor, bishop, hallelujah, prelate, hallelujah, usher, choir member, drummer, all the musicians, guitarist, hallelujah, pianist, hallelujah, organist, hallelujah. You need it in your heart, hallelujah, offering person, deacon, security. Y'all got all your security now, hallelujah. So security, you need it in your heart, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. So you depend on God for security, hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. We're going to move on, breakthrough, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So after you pray and you forgive, hallelujah, and tell the Lord, hallelujah, remind him that you're trying to do his will and that you're doing his will if he says you're doing it. And if you're not doing, hallelujah, that you're willing to come up asking for forgiveness for all sins and things you're not doing right, shortcomings and disobedience. When God gave me that in the song, I was like, Lord, are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> and he said, no, put it in the song. It's for you and everybody shortcomings, hallelujah, and disobedience, hallelujah. Just because you obey now don't mean you always obeyed, hallelujah. Go before God and say, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner, hallelujah, yes. Yes, if you're the pastor, if you're the bishop, if you're the apostle, I don't care, the prophet, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. When you come to God, hallelujah, you must first believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Seek him diligently to do that. Hallelujah. The act has to be diligent. There must be humbleness in the act. There must be purity in the act. There must be truth in the act. There must be, hallelujah, repentance in the act. There must be belief in the act. Hallelujah. There must be acceptance in the act. Hallelujah. Yes, my shortcomings and disobedience. And you give me another chance. Not me, not man, you God. Hallelujah. Oh my God, we're getting close. Hallelujah. We're getting close to the breakthrough, busting open. Hallelujah. And grabbing hold of us. God has already done it. Hallelujah. But we need for it to take over us and take control of us. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 
And then you say to the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, what about the breakthrough? Come on, Lord. Hallelujah. And you tell him, hallelujah, give it to me in purity, hallelujah. Let him know you know you're not worthy, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I'm not worthy, hallelujah. But give it to me, give it to me completely pure, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give me your purity, hallelujah. So I can be completely clean and completely whole, hallelujah. Always in the mode, hallelujah, to receive your breakthrough. Always in the mode to go to the next level. Always in the mode to be able to, hallelujah, hallelujah, be, hallelujah, clean and whole, hallelujah, and powerful in God. So that, hallelujah, the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is not just word in me, hallelujah, because it's not in word, but it is in power, hallelujah, not in what I I can say and how I can sound, hallelujah, but hallelujah, but in the power, hallelujah, to not have this just for me, hallelujah, and benefit, hallelujah, but to be able to go, hallelujah, to others so that they can get their breakthrough. I clean out, hallelujah. I stay right, hallelujah. I stay humble, hallelujah. I have to do what God say do. I stay in the word. I gotta stay in prayer so that you can get your breakthrough. It's not all for me. Say to yourself, it's not all for me. This is not for me. This is for you. Me and you. Hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, we never have to beg God, but we say to him, please, 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 please. I don't mind saying please to God. It's a sign of good manners, hallelujah. Because so many people are so fresh with God and demand that he does things. He says, command me, but he's talking about from a place of humbleness and a place of trust, hallelujah, a place of friendship, hallelujah, and a place, hallelujah, of worship, hallelujah, a place of authority in his spirit that he has given you. Not a place of demand from him, disrespect him, and act like, oh, he's a genie, rub him three times, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost, and poof, you've got everything that you ever want and ever need, hallelujah, because he's now your genie, hallelujah. But it is about a, a respect, relationship, and friendship with him that he says now you have the right and you have the authority hallelujah to to command me to say to me let it be done and it is done say to yonder's mountain hallelujah be thou removed because you did what i said and you have built up till you have at least the faith the size of a mustard seed so you say to yonder's mountain move and my holy spirit will move it for you Hallelujah. You say to the Lord, please, please do it for me. Please do it for me. Hallelujah. You see, because he's been holding back. Hallelujah. Holding back trouble and problems and things that you think, hallelujah, you think your trouble and your problem is bad now, but he's kept you head of the heathen, child. He's kept you head of the heathen. By God, you've run through troops and leaped over walls, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Listen to Revelation 7, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, they shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat. For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water and, shall, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Hallelujah. After you suffered a while, hallelujah, God will do this for you, not just in heaven, but he'll do it on earth. Hallelujah. He'll bring you through and then you won't have to suffer these things anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not that you won't go all through things. Hallelujah. But God is going to break you through at levels. Hallelujah. That you've never seen before. Hallelujah. Where, hallelujah, you won't even feel some of the trials. Hallelujah. I know there's a witness out there. 
God don't want to just break you through your situation. He wants to break you through the levels of God. Break you through the levels of God so you can say, I got my breakthrough. Thank you for my breakthrough. He'll shut the door behind you after you get through. He will seal it up, wipe it away like it never existed. Hallelujah. And there will be walls of angels behind you. So, hallelujah, your pets can't come and get you, and you won't have to suffer those things anymore. And they try to eat you up. Hallelujah. The devils can't come back and try to possess you, and nothing that you went through before. Hallelujah. I know somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to this in Revelation 7 and 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Listen, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. I'm trying to tell you this. Through this scripture, if you can see it. That everything God promised you is coming to pass. And if, hallelujah, time tries to end before you get the answer, it cannot end until you get the answer, hallelujah. Until you get your breakthrough, hallelujah, you ain't leaving here, hallelujah. As long as you are in the will of God and doing it his way, hallelujah. Glory be to God. God will seal you in your forehead and the earth cannot be hurt, neither the sea nor the trees, hallelujah. Until you get your breakthrough, I wonder if you can see it through that one scripture alone. You are protected. I heard the song and the singer and sing, songwriter say, hallelujah, that we are blessed and highly favored. You are blessed and highly favored. And this is for God's people who are willing to humble ourselves. Do the will of the Lord. Do it his way. Wait on him. Pray the way he says pray. Live the way he says live. Holy and acceptable. Your body. Hallelujah. Present it. Holy and acceptable. Which is a reasonable service. And to not be conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You've got to prove those things. Which are good and perfect. Will of God. Hallelujah. Some of you are being held back from your breakthrough, no matter what your position is. I don't care how high it is. God is talking to every one of us today. Don't let your highness, your position, your beauty, hallelujah, your fineness, your money, the family you come from, where you live, your house, nor your car, your job, your children, what ever who you know who you think you know and who's in your corner don't let it hold you back from your breakthrough because all disobedience is sin you can lift your hand and say no i'm not a fornicator no i'm not an adulterer no i don't lie i don't steal i don't cheat i don't do this i don't do that i don't do that i must be good no you see, when people look and you preach the word of God and you say, God said, be perfect as I am perfect and be holy for your father in heaven is holy. You know, they want to judge you and say, oh, you think you're perfect. I've heard it all my life. Oh, you think you're perfect. That's not what it is. Not in my flesh. I'm not saying that. Hallelujah. But I know I have my own testimony. You can't tell it. Let me tell it. The Holy Spirit. Spirit, I, God saved me, called me by my name when I was six. And the Holy Spirit has taken over me, hallelujah, and I live for the Lord. Now, if you don't like it, that's just your problem, hallelujah. Try to find something, pick at me if that's what you want to do and end up under the curse. That's on you. But I'm going to tell you right now, it is possible. It is possible. 
impossible for you to live holy. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Perfect like God say. Holy like God say. Yes, it is. Yes, it is possible. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Spirit takes over your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit. Now, unless you're saying God is a liar, you can live right. You just don't want to. Uh huh. You can live right, you just don't want to. And because you don't want to live right, you don't want your breakthrough. You want to cut corners and you want to do it your way, hallelujah. You want to have it your way, then you go to Burger King, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. But if you want to have it God's way, you go to the word and you go down on your knees. Hallelujah. You humble yourself and you do it God's way and you will get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Ain't going to be no breakthroughs. Hallelujah. Without doing it God's way. We're going to get our breakthrough and do it God's way. Because every time, hallelujah, God say, hallelujah, that you got something, hallelujah, your way, it didn't last in the first place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it caused you more trouble in the long run. Hallelujah. So we're going to do it God's way and get our breakthrough. Is that all right? And if it's not for you, that's just too bad because that's the way you're going to get it. Hallelujah. We're going to do it God's way and we're going to get a breakthrough. Is that all right? Hallelujah. And then we go further and we say, I got my breakthrough. Because we did it God's way. I got my breakthrough. Hallelujah. I got my breakthrough. And then we begin to thank him. And we begin to worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough. 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 And you begin to tell people and witness and testify. I learned, hallelujah, it's not my timing. I learned it is his timing. Hallelujah. You made the sun and moon, the stars, you're coming soon. It's your air I breathe, hallelujah. Creator, it's you that I need. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all in Jesus' name. And we bow to your fame. You stop trying to get famous and hallelujah, bow to Jesus' fame. We're bringing you Jesus. Hallelujah. Valerie Boyd said, I give you Jesus. Hallelujah. You're so busy trying to give people you, trying to be seen. Hallelujah. God already put you out there. He's already exposed your talent. He's already exposed everything about you. Give them Jesus. <laughs> He has lightened you and made you the salt of the earth so you can give them Jesus. It's all in Jesus' name. And we bow to his fame. Don't be bowing to me and get me in trouble. No, thank you. I said bow to Jesus. I came to bring you Jesus and bring you the breakthrough, hallelujah, that God has given me for you, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. And we bow to your fame. You're known all through the earth and through the universe. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Then I begin to talk about Psalms 91, one of my favorites. Hallelujah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know you're under his wings. You're under his shadow. Hallelujah. You got breakthroughs coming here and there and everywhere. Hallelujah. He's your rock. He's your defense. He's your strength. He's all those great things. You guaranteed your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then lastly, you stand up and say, and he rode upon a cherub and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. Hallelujah. Ah, then you go ahead and you tell them, by God, hallelujah, I run through truth. And by God, I've leaped over walls, children. I got my breakthrough. You come on out, hallelujah. And then you start talking about with the merciful, he'll show himself merciful. Hey, with the righteous, he'll show himself righteous, hallelujah. Not our righteousness in our eyesight, but our righteousness in his eyesight, hallelujah. Oh, breakthrough, hallelujah. Oh, breakthrough, hallelujah. Oh, breakthrough, hallelujah. Come on, get your breakthrough. Get 
Get your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Get your breakthrough by the power of God. Get your breakthrough inside and out. Hallelujah. Somebody say, hallelujah. Something on the inside. Working on the outside. Oh, what a change in me. God has changed you. You've humbled yourself. Hallelujah. And now it's time for the breakthrough. God guarantees it. Hallelujah. All you got to do is believe and receive him. Receive him. Receive his word. Hallelujah. You got to receive Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive the word of God. He's the word. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the word was God. And then the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Here we beheld him. Hallelujah. Beheld his glory. Hallelujah. Only begotten of the father. Hallelujah. Full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. Breakthrough right now. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. Grab your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough. Accept your breakthrough. Breakthrough right now. Breakthrough right now. In the name of Jesus. By the Holy Spirit. From the Father. Oh God do it. In the name of Jesus. You promised. Hallelujah. We need it. Hallelujah. We want it. Hallelujah. Breakthrough. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen.